Sultan the Magnificent. He invited the beauties upon the stage of his invention to be ushered into box traps and brightly colored illusions where death and dismemberment become blood-curdling practical jokes unwrapping the punchline to reveal the imagination in triumph over life itself. Dancers floated in mid-air danger, suspended lightly above the laws of gravity and other earthly considerations that make being in two places at the same exact time something that is just not done in the current society, as at present it is somewhat impolite and in bad taste. Sultan the Magnificent paces the stage with lordly gait, filled with pride and confidence in the hard-won skill of his misdirection and rare manipulation of perspectives of perception to the perfection of spontaneously spilling tumultuous applause as he hands back each endangered damsel. The magician watches as the pearls of his victorious tricks descend from center stage to dissolve like water droplets back into the surging foam of emotion that is the audience welcoming back its own from the barely mapped out jungle of the blind spot where the necromancer has been known to pray.